just want to do two more. We'll go through these two and just check the status of them. And I don't know exactly what's going on with these. I can't remember. And again, if we find queen cells, we'll go from there. But, you know, this early season, you know, once you find out that the hive is actually alive, and you can tell usually by pollen coming in or finding eggs when you do your first inspection, or if you even see the queen. But this time of year, you may even want to do a treatment. You know, it's been a long time since you did your treatments in the fall. And this time of year when it's a little bit warmer, you may use Apivar instead of oxalic acid. You know, some treatments are more expensive than others. Oxalic acid is probably your cheapest. Now you can wait for a cold spell and use oxalic acid. It's up to you. you or you can just run treatment free. Look at that drone. The drone's huge. You can really tell the difference between the, the drones and the workers, the males and the females. So I can see that this is a brood frame. And I'm bouncing back and forth looking for the queen. I don't spend a lot of time. I spend about five or six seconds and that's only because I know the queen's going to move to the dark side. No, I'm not talking about Star Wars. I'm talking about that they work in the dark and naturally, just like a mogwai, bright light, they don't like it. So you may see your queen run to the shade, the dark side of the frame. So that's why I try not to lose her by looking really quickly. I bounce back and forth. I see that there's brood here. I see their back filling. And that could be a sign of an absent queen or they could just be, they're making the most out of it. As I get closer to the inside and I still don't see brood, the inside of the frames, the inside frames should be lighter because they should be full of eggs. As I'm putting my hive tool in here, I'm slowly trying to work and let the bees get the idea that they need to get out of the way. I try not to manhandle them because that may tick them off and they may think that their life is threatened or in danger and sting. If they don't feel they need to defend themselves, they're not going to sting. I mean, I've been working out here all day. I haven't got stung. Now watch, I'm going to get stung, but try to work slowly, carefully. So I see a lot of cat brood, I just don't see the queen. So this is frame number four. You know what, I'm gonna keep this to the side. Even though it's a brood frame, I'm just gonna... Let me see if I can... Okay. A little bit more smoke. See her. I do not see her. Looks weird. I feel a mosquito bite in my leg. Mm -hmm. right. Come on, Queen, where you at, girl? Some newbies. Ooh, my back. It's lit up. Oh, there she is. 
right there. Okay, so we got a queen. She's Margaret, that's last year's queen. Okay. So they have a queen. All is well. I still don't think that they are ready. I don't see any swarm cells, so I'm just gonna put it back together. Oh, probably pulled my magnet right out of my pocket. Okay. Okay, here we go. Make sure that they're pushed over nice and tight, and ready to go. Okay. Okay, hive is clean right. Moving on. They probably will swarm this time next week. I think it's hive number. I think it's hive number seven for the day. This is the last one. I'm gonna go hang out with the, the wife and have a cocktail on the deck before the night goes down. Baby's probably sleeping. This is a pretty night. This should be a nice evening to have a drink. It's like one of our favorite things to do. <laughs> out on the deck and watch the sunset. Okay, what am I gonna do? I almost laid that down flat. I'm getting tired. Ooh, very lot of propolis. So it doesn't look like a lot of activity. It looks like this one's really drawn out, which means this one might be empty. Weird, we might, things are weird. Nothing on here. Looks like they're starting to draw it out. A lot of bees, but Look at this, holy moly. This is weird. This is drawn out really thick, but this side isn't drawn out at all. But look at that side. Wow, what the heck, man. Just weird. Oh, it looks like an, emerg an emergency cell. Doesn't look like it's capped though. Yeah, we got some frames that are really, really weird right here. And when I say weird, I mean they're almost, they're drawn out too much. They're like this, look at that. They got honey all the way out here. And it's got a queen cell right here. I just want to make sure that it's not, it's uncapped. So that means the queen probably already emerged. No wonder it was so sticky and hard to pull out. I'm looking for the queen. Look at how packed that frame is. It's getting later in the evening. Some more bees are back. Look at that brood frame. Holy moly. Wow. Wow, okay. I assume they're queen, right? Oh, man. Last hive, last hive, last colony. No stings, worked out all day here, no stings. It was super hot. Look at the size of that drone. You know, when you think these are queens, you think, oh, there's, there she is, but no. You'll know, she moves quick. She's longer, she's taller. She's busy. I don't see her. Okay. But, I'll tell you what, it only takes a couple stings and I'll put the gloves on. Last week I got zapped in the hand twice. 
I had to, and that's exactly where they got me, right here, where this mm -hmm. hole was. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it gets, like right now I actually could wear the jacket because it's not as bad, it's not as hot. I think right now it's about 74. Look at all that. Dang it. Dang it, they don't like that. She's kicking butt though, I tell you that. Wherever she is. I mean, I could button this up right now. But I'm going through the yard, I'm trying my best to go through and mark as many queens as I can before it gets too big. Now look at this frame, perfect example of whoa. I mean, these, that has drawn out so much where they ignored the frame next to it and just kept going. I mean, this is a frame where if you harvested it with honey, my goodness. Oh, I see a queen cell right there. Uncapped. I'm looking for her. I don't see her. Thought that might be it, but looks like just another worker. Oh, I see another queen cell right there. Both of them uncapped. I see a bee doing a queen, uh, a bee dance. Another queen cell down here, uncapped. This one's heavy. This is a weird frame. It's got tons of honey. It's got lots of brood too. Oh, I have to wait. I dress my back. Man. All right. Whew. A little bit more smoke. This is the last one. Then I got. This is the last one. Then I want to go hang out with Rach. Oh, she's probably up there waiting for me. Okay, just a bunch of workers, drawing it out, drawing it out, drawing it out. Look at them working. Yeah, we just didn't see her. And it was pretty, I mean, that you've seen how packed those frames were. And this is later in the day. There's a lot of bees back. And, you know, doing uh, inspections this late in the night is not ideal. In the middle of the day when the foragers are out, that's you got a better chance of working the bees without so many covering. Oh, there she is right there. Right there. Let's grab her and mark her. Kind of was a little rough there. She looks like she's going to be okay, but I didn't mean to be so rough on her. She'll be all right. That was a little rough. Oh. Okay, let's put this one back. It always scares me too because, I mean, it, if you accidentally squish a queen, that's a big mess up. That's a, you really put that, you set that hive back. Yeah, they got a lot of work to do. And if they don't have fresh eggs, then eventually that hive will become hopelessly queenless. And it will need a replacement queen. But I think this queen's gonna be all right.
Okay, there she goes.